How's it going, my dandelions? Welcome to Founder's Fortune. Now, if you've been with me for a little while now, you know that this was the first game that I ever did a Let's Play on. Now, it's been over a year since I went ahead and made those videos onto YouTube. And if you knew me, I started as unboxing Pokemon and then kind of having fun from there, playing a lot of RuneScape and all that fun jazz. But I took, I took it seriously once I started doing Founder's Fortune. So I thought we'd go back and start a series on this. If you guys are excited for it, let me know down below. Let me know if you've been here from the beginning. Other than that, we're gonna jump into it. I got this girl here. We're gonna change her name. Um, she's a fast learner, optimistic. If you know me, it's my favorite one. Permanent mood boost, very useful. Fast learner, really good. She's gonna learn skills real quick. And then this is gonna be our boy, Liam. If you guys know him, he's the main supporter of our channel. Huge shout out to you, bro. Merry Christmas to everybody watching this. Huge shout out to Liam for the constant love and support. Honest to God, absolute beast. Me and my family here, super blessed to have him a part of our family. So he's an animal lover, favorite food, pumpkin stew, and loves summer. Plus he has Forester with planting pine trees. Now, I want this because those are pretty good boosts for early on. We will get rid of probably all of them and get different ones, but I love the look of him and I thought he looked really cool. So I thought that's exactly the character we want for our man Liam. So the world's gonna load up. I'm gonna jump into it and I'll see you guys in one second. So the world is loaded up and I took a little glimpse around while my video was loading and Damn, we actually got a really good start. Like, this is a perfect area. It, I don't, is that okay? I thought that was like a healing plant. I'm like, wow, even better. But we can wall this off and literally live in here with our little civilization. If I need to make it bigger, I can. I keep looking to my right because my camera's over there. I'm trying to see if we're lagging or anything like that since it's my first time recording in our new house. Um, basically, tons of crystals, iron ore, iron ore, cotton all the way over there. Some piggies here, a little tribe there, hopefully we're friendly with them. But just like always, we're gonna jump right into it and get started. I'm gonna move my Gatorade because I got that one right here. I'm gonna put it over here. I might look a little choppy. This is my green screen, I kinda gotta fix that, I guess. I didn't really think much about it, especially because it's reflecting off quite a few things. Um, and that's really what's going on here. So next video, I promise you, I'll do my best to fix uh, the green screen and stuff like that. So we're gonna go into here. And first thing I'd always want you to do is make your little campfire thing. Now, if I remember correctly, shift is going to toggle the extra layers. So if you look in between the squares here to the right, you can see it better. It's going to add those little dots in between it. That's going to allow me to off-center things and make it, honestly, a lot better for us. Now, the middle of our town is probably going to be, like, here. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Seems pretty good to me. Uh, first things first, you need food. And then two beds. If we could put three down right away. That'd be great, because you pretty much always get a survivalist right off the bat. And then, I'm going to go into our people here, and I'm going to change their names. We're going to have Alicia, as you guys know, my beautiful fiance. We're going to have Liam. Liam, the Fire Lord, the absolute man, the myth, the legend. And then we're going to go into here, and he's going to be our main forester. He's already good at it, so that's what we're going to focus on. Everybody's going to become a tier 2 farmer. Right off the bat, we're literally just going to focus on forestry. Like, there's no reason not to. And I really think that's kind of the main goal here, is just to really get rid of and set everything up that we need to. Now, I'm going to kind of have it properly clicked on, because I don't want our people to randomly run in directions that are unknown areas, you know what I mean? I want them to be a little bit more safer and stuff like that. First thing we really need to get done is a place where we can research. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a pretty crappy little shit shack. Just cause I want, like I don't need it to be really nice and fancy. I just want it to be a building we get completed as soon as possible. So once it's done, we can go ahead and start our research. Now it's not the greatest looking, you know what? I'm actually going to give the dirt because I want this to be basically it's going to be a storage shack later on we're going to move the little thing here that you teach your stuff with so it should be in work a research stand right there let's put it boom perfect right there fantastic now our people should go ahead and start that up right away jump right into farming and then writing food first writing second writing is going to be a huge game changer um I'm going to click on Alicia here and she's going to take ownership of that. I'm gonna grab Liam and he's gonna take ownership of that. I really gotta be careful because I don't want people to do this all the time. If they do it, they're gonna like break their bones possibly. And you really don't want that. Uh, it's probably the biggest pain in the butt. Um, reason I rush writing right off the bat, writing as soon as humanly possible 
is because the fact that you're going to be able to learn skills that you can't uh, without having it. So none of my people have the ability to splint or cure flu or use tools or anything like that right now. I have to have them learn it in order for them to basically be able to do that. In order for them to do it, that book stand is going to be really, really necessary. Now, I want them to focus on this. I'm going to click on Alicia here. And I'm going to make her be our main scholar. And I think that's going to really help us out here. Because she's going to hopefully start constructing everything properly. And then if I get her to gather some crystals. And Liam, he's going to continue building. Once he's done building, I'm going to get him to as well gather crystals. That way we can get ourselves this kind of set up instantly. We can have a maximum of 10. Honestly, not that much. If I go into storage here, I can build a little shack location like this and put that there. So, so this is now going to allow us to have more crystals. So therefore, we're definitely going to want that going on. And again, I'm going to grab you to do that. Your people will overeat sometimes. So if you keep an eye on them when they're eating, you got to be really careful. They, they will just hork food down. And starting off with literally nothing isn't really the best idea. Now that's enough for us to get farming unlocked. Liam's going to keep kicking them, which is good. Um, at least she's in here. She's going to learn that really quickly. We do have it super sped up. I don't know if I'll keep it on maximum speed. Maybe I'll put it on two every now and again. Uh, that's only just because I don't want it to take forever for us to really get things done. Now, I don't know why it's going to... Oh, oh, okay, yes. Okay, every time it does that once, that's one crystal being used. So yeah, maybe we'll speed it up. Once Liam gets... 25 crystals will then start doing the stuff with the wood we should have a new immigrant come which is good i also would like to look at this here so these are the ones that will attack us on site they're an absolute idaho which is great and then these are the ones closest to us these little green tiki goblins now if we can become friends with these guys which ones were they are they these guys i think hello it is if we become friends with them, we're going to have them to really help us out if we get attacked or something. We can also start communing trades and all that fun jazz. So that's really going to be awesome. Now, who do we got here? We got another lady. So she's going to come and join us. Right away, you want to always accept people right off the bat. Kind of pain in the butt because I don't want to take people that have bad trades. Oh, Alicia's an absolute legend. She just unlocked that instantaneously. Um, but we got Doris now. So Doris, I'm going to name you. Anissa, welcome to the squad. She's been a follower of mine for an extremely long time. Experienced in battle, favorite fufu fruit salad, really good traits. I'm not even going to cry about that. That's phenomenal. I'm going to have her focus on mining, but I'm going to go into it. And I'm going to have her mine crystals. That's going to be her main job. And then she's going to be a farmer. On the, At least she's going to turn to a full farmer. You know what? That's actually an even better idea. Let's do this. Let's have her become that. Boom. There you go. She's going to be our scholar. Alicia's going to be our farmer. And I'm actually really happy about this. So right off the bat, food is number one priority. Now, we can do it here. I want to make it look nice, you know. I don't want it to look weird. We don't need too much food. But honestly, I want like enough to really get going. So three rows of this should be good and I'm gonna get her right on it as soon as possible Anissa I'm gonna get you to start getting that done and damn things are looking really good I should be able to cue how do I I don't remember TR R oh yeah I'm about to sneeze oh no danger danger <coughs> <coughs> bless me I think my green screen actually blew possibly <coughs> I'm gonna get a thumbnail here if I, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna do that. Boom! There's our thumbnail for episode one, guys. So, she's in there. How did I do that? R, T, F, F, and R. There we go. F and R to go up and down. Uh, Anissa actually needs a bed. So, we're gonna take ownership of that bed there. I'm gonna grab her bed because she's the one that's literally. Okay, I know it's a shit. Uh, it's a, a stinky shack, you know, it's not the nicest of places. But truthfully, oh, okay. Yeah, you can, I guess, sleep on it before you remove it. Um, but truthfully, I think it is a 
better idea to get her to live near it. So once she lives near it, you know, this will eventually expand into her proper housing. And then we can get Alicia, the farmer, to live here, I'm thinking, in this little area. Liam's our fighter. I'm going to get him to live on the border, possibly. And both of our warriors will kind of live in that area. It's good to have that there. We, if we put this house over here, Anissa's actual... You know what? This can be a shack for storage later on. And we can put Anissa's house properly here. That actually sounds really good. And again, I'm going to get her to now construct her bed. And then analyze crystals. There you go. Perfect. They're doing that. I am speeding it up, which, you know, I shouldn't, but oh well I am. Um, but I'm going to get Alicia's house put up now. So I want Alicia to literally be our farmer. So I'm going to have her house come along here. It's going to be a little different shape, but you know what? It adds a little more architecture to it, and I'm all about that. So it's going to have like a long house, it looks like. Can you, can you, you can't do diagonal, can you? Doesn't look like it. All right, whatever. We're going to go in like this. How far in do I have to go? So like that, and then I have to chop that tree down. So I'm gonna grab Liam here to do us the justice of chopping this tree down. And this is Alicia's home. It's like a long house, but honestly, I think it looks quite nice. So Liam's gonna chop that down. I would like to get a tailoring bench as soon as possible. Not tailoring, sorry, a wood carp woodworking. We need that there. So Liam, I love you, bro, and I'm very happy that you, you chopped that tree down, but now you're starting to stump it. Um, I can't do anything with that, so that's really good. Alicia's going to take care of those. Um, but we're going to get that built down. There we go. Perfection. Oops. Click on our handsome sir. There we go. That's done. Door. First things first. Door there. Door there. And I want to go into flooring and put some dirt paths around our house. Slash farm area. So I'm going to have it go like this. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Nice nifty little back area. I will do a main path here once I get this situated. Um, but I kind of want to wait. Last time I had it, the path right against it. Maybe we'll go over by one. Yeah, I like that idea. So it'll go this way. This will be like town hall kind of ish area. You know what I mean? I'm gonna go in like this. It's gonna look a little weird, but I think it looks a little neat. Look at this, dude. Oh, oh yeah, you guys hear my rings, by the way. So for Christmas, Alicia actually got me a proper wedding band. Well, I guess it's not really a wedding band, but you know, like our engagement ring. I had this one for a while, so I just put them on, you know, my little fingers here. So you hear me rub my hands now and make the clinging noise because I'm part robot. So, you know, pretty dope. All right, so that's done there. I wanna floor her house off. We're gonna get her house built first. She's our farmer. If we can get her being extremely happy, that's gonna be freaking fantabulous. So to the back door, I would like a little room possibly for it. So you know, you're just you're not just oh, pause. Instant emergency. Remove all infested plants. There we go. That's what you gotta do. You gotta get right on that as soon as humanly possible. And then we're gonna do thinking this. I like like it, this makes it look, in my opinion, look a lot nicer if you organize things like this. So Alicia's bedroom will be here. You're gonna then have a little storage room here, living room. Uh, yeah, living room. Maybe bedroom in this room here. This can be like a kitchen. Yeah, there you go. Living room, kitchen, little small storage room, back room to the foraging farm, um, and then her bedroom can be here, and we can put her bed back here. Uh, when I'm created and I live with her, we can maybe extend it out to the side here and make the bedroom a lot bigger as well. So that's a nice looking house in my opinion. I would love to get an upstairs, but we don't need it right now. What we need is Liam a home as well. I can have Liam live with us and maybe make his room here for now, Alicia's room there. Um, but I'm going to grab Liam here. We're going to go trade this guy. Alicia, how are your crops going? We're going to harvest them up. Um, first things first, I don't really need the me medicines and healing potions. Healing potions are for combat. Don't really need them right now. 
And the medicines are for if we get really sick, but if I'm smart about it, we can get some good stuff out of it. All right, wooden pickaxe, huge. Stone pickaxe, even bigger. Um, what else have we got on here? Scrolls, very decent. Pig would be amazing. Getting animals early for money is really nice. But I think for safety reasons, we're gonna try and get two wooden pickaxes. They're not as good as this, um, but they're double the price. So we're gonna try and go with that. Can I do that? I can, and we have coins already. Actually, could I? I could almost, could I do that? I can, selling item value or killing these things that much. That is phenomenal. Um, maybe we could even do a cheeky little method here. Try our best to get one of these bad boys. 86, so stone pickaxe and a wooden pickaxe for that value right there, which is extremely worth it in my opinion. Uh, that's gonna allow us to get some tools now. In order to get that, I'm gonna need woodworking as soon as possible so we can go ahead, or furniture I think it is, so we can give them their tools. Now, that's good because we're gonna have a lot of people doing the mining and all that stuff, collecting the crystals and you know all, the, all that really good, good. Um, I am going to harvest. I'm gonna go into Alicia here. Man, we're gonna have no, that's perfect. I like the way it is. Yep, that sounds phenomenal. I'm good with that. That's not going to bug me at all. What's Liam up to? He's what, he's chopping wood. I'm actually going to get him to continue to build the house. We are going to speed it up. Just That's just how it's going to go. So we're going to speed it up, get this home kind of built up as fast as we can. I would like to get... What's wrong with Liam? Let's see. He's hungry. Go eat whenever you want, my G. Hello up to three as a forester. Healing cabinet in the colony. She would like to sit on a chair, get a loom in the colony. I need to like a loom and healing. So these two want something the same. And then I think these two. Okay, these two want something the same and these two want something the same. So that's actually really nice. Liam here. How much does it cost to get some of those, these good ones? I like Optimus. It's my favorite one. Permanent mood boost. That's the one I try to give to everybody as fast as I can. Fast learner and tireless are like the god tier status. So Alicia, her bed, I can actually try to move. Um, I might not be able to while she's sleeping, but that's fine. We're one away from writing, which is literally massive. Like, the <laughs> best thing you can get. So she's going to sleep. And then hopefully she goes right into the tending of the field because our food situation's it's okay. It's not the best. But that's done. That's awesome. We're going to go right into woodworking here. Let's get our tool racks and everything. She should be able to get that almost, which is really nice. Liam's looking like a, he's becoming a boss, bro. He's out here building up our town and everything looks awesome. I'm gonna go and finish this path here. I'm gonna go here, here, there. That seems good to me. Alicia hurt her arm. Hurt arm works a little slower. That's fine. I'm okay with you being a little injured. I would like it though if you could go ahead and construct your house um and then i want to move her bed we're gonna have her bed go oops have her bed go back here for now and then liam again i'm gonna have you move in with alicia for a little bit and you're gonna move your bed there so that we're doing is because i want them to be a little bit more like more of a mood boost if i go into here um optimistic she gets plus seven happiness right now like that's humongous like that's really good now, you don't really need to be doing that. You could be getting us woodworking done right now. I'm going to speed it down a little. Go to two. Alicia should have been doing that. Liam, I want you to do this. I need her to grow us as much food as possible. Three rows should be enough for winter. Because this is a... Or also, we're going to start farming up soon. I'm going to speed it up. I don't know what, what it is with me. I like speeding the game up. In my opinion, it makes it a little nicer. Um, the roof's gone. I don't know what I did to do that. I like seeing the roof. No, I don't know what I did. How did I click something wrong? E. Ooh, Q and E turn. I didn't know that. Sorry, guys. You didn't hear me clicking random buttons right now. I'm trying to see. All right, I don't know what. I had to have hit something wrong. But there you go. That looks so nice. This is the beginning of our town. Like, look. Here's another thumbnail. Boom. There you go. That's a better thumbnail, in my opinion. There we go. Okay, simple wooden dresser. Everything's done. Fantabulous. We're then going to go into... Basically, I said it'd be sick, but I can't get that right away. 
I feel like if we go into this, this is when they start to fight us. Wooden trap, wooden sword. Like that's when they start to fight us, and I really don't want that. Tailoring gets us the clothing. Gardening, I think, is going to look really cute, and it can make our town look a lot nicer, so I'm definitely going to go into gardening. That sounds good to me. Next up, we just got a whole bunch of things completed. So they want a loom in the town. I want carpenter's bench. Storage is the most important though, because then we're going to be able to get our tools. So again, this is going to become our little storage unit in here. I'm going to give... I would like to have an axe, but we don't have an axe. How much wood can we have up to? 200. Stone, we're not really going for stone right now. I think we're okay. Decorations, we'll get those later. I can't wait to really build our house up. It's going to look sick. Like, if I... I want to I can literally put some pillars out here so it would be better to do this one Oops. and then put it like here and then do one here and you can get an overhang kind of roof and it would look pretty neat I think it'll look really fancy especially for this little place here so that'd be pretty cute I think that would look nice and I love architecture I'm a huge when I was little I really wanted to be an architect found out any law like schooling and I'm nowhere good for schooling so I never went ahead and did that now if I put these there you can get like a little so in my mind what I'm thinking of is when we get the training dummies we could put them here and have this have an overhang so and if it, if it rains I don't know if it rains I don't remember in this game um, but it would look really neat to have your people underneath like a sheltered area fighting uh, if we could do like a couple barrels or something you could do like a really nice a lot of really nice things so Liam's over there I would like you guys to actually remove your bed it's gonna give you a little bit of sadness but I'm gonna get you to do these they're gonna be happy because they know their homes are going inside here which is good and then he's gonna do that which is phenomenal her I'm gonna get her to take ownership of this and then she can go ahead and grab that wooden pickaxe so now she's gonna be able to harvest a lot quicker Alicia's good there. We're gonna get her to chop down some trees now. It is summer, so she should be able to plant some potatoes. Ooh, y'all. This is when our food's really gonna start coming in. And it's gonna be really good, and I'm really hoping Liam doesn't hurt himself. We are unprepared for winter, but I think everything should be fine. I don't think we're gonna struggle. But guys, it's already been 21 minutes. Doesn't feel like it has, um, but it has been apparently. So if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. All that fuss is down below. My name is Dan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to everybody that's been here from the beginning of time. I uh, love you guys so freaking much. You absolute legends. I'm trying to get a nice thumbnail of Alicia and the crops. So I think this is probably the best thumbnail I can get right now. But thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Daniel. If you want to support me any farther, there's a Patreon, there's a PayPal. All the fuss is down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching this. We will be playing this all the way to the end of the skill tree. And then hopefully more. Uh, we'll see from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.